Let's go, William. Well, we got two masters to serve. We at least pleased one of them and pretty much killed the Ah, oh, it's beautiful! Did he just leave me behind for a girl cat? He was begging me to play with him a minute ago. That was before friends, I guess. Even for cats. Oh well, I need to revisit the repair shop anyway. This is so cool! Sunlight Street, Thursday noon. Hey, big guy. Can I talk to you? I guess not. 7 Eleven? Oh, it's a 7 12. 24 hour stores are so convenient. I should remember to bring home some booze. Yeah, but, you know, booze. Maybe it's a little bit expensive in convenience stores. All these sugary beverages are so unhealthy. Beer, of course, is different. I beg to differ, I'll take any sugary, unhealthy shit over any kind of alcohol, and that'll be the end of it. I need to stop wandering around and go to the repair shop now. Aww, oh, please wander around. What shall we talk about? Hmm, recent gossip? Why not? Do you have any gossip? Hey, that's not how people start with gossip conversation. You start with a small talk. There is one thing, actually. The guy's called Liu. Maybe you've already heard about it. Some people are freaking out about strange shadowy figures seen near the entrance to the drainage area. Is that going to be the Grim Reaper from the prologue? People say there might be something supernatural going on. But you're talking to a guy who just settled down a haunted armor, so... Alright, elect the election and the vote. Have you made up your mind on who you're going to vote, vote for? The election? Since when did you become interested in voting? Because this time robots are among the candidates. That's true. Me, I'll be showing my support to the robots. I don't think robots will have any chance this time because you know who is also participating in the campaign. What show? You know who? Um, what's that supposed to mean? Eh, nothing really. Never mind, I'm just looking around. Eh, I'm not gonna buy any of your shit. What is he supposed to be selling? Drinks? Cigarettes? Well, he's smoking, so... That's an advertisement in and of itself. A detective used to live here, but he was taken away by police for beating up corpses at... Let me, let me try to do that again. A detective used to live here, but he was taken away by police for beating up corpses at home. No one knows what he's doing now. Well, he's probably beating up corpses outside. Because he can't do it at home, right? I can't believe people are stealing. Okay, typo. People are still putting down posters like this. What will humans and the robots put aside their differences? Speaking as a true cyborg. Uh, spoken like cheats. Fucking English. It's weird. Information on Bell Tower Avenue. Before the Sky City was built, the Starlight City was one of the top 10 most populated cities in the world, and Bell Tower Avenue was one of the best spots with the most, with the most famous tourist attraction, Dollar River. However, as people and business moved to Sky City, this prosperity became a thing of the past. Hmm. Is the city a representation of Rex's, Rex himself, his career, and his state of mind? Maybe. Hai Jia Le. Okay, these are all Chinese people, I guess. Hello, would you like a lollipop? Lollipops are my favorite. I really should play this game in Chinese. I mean, that's the intended language. But I want also want to do an English Let's Play. So there, there you are. There is no reconciling between those two. I'll probably play the Chinese version on my own. I might be doing Chinese Let's Play. Who knows? Why haven't you been here for so long? Oh, he's talking to the dog. 
Well, animals are super smart in the future. I dig that. What is this? Oh, this is the repair shop. This is what I'm here for. Oh, that is a big robot. I should look around. Most of this stuff should go into an antique store now. This belongs to the museum. Most items on the rack are marked as second hand but look quite new. Obviously they have been well maintained. Or stolen. Workshop area staff only. We are a detective. Since when has that ever stopped us? Hey big guy. Hardy old robots are hibernating in the corner. The parts seem very worn. Is that supposed to be a gladiator? All right, let's talk to the owner. Who isn't here? Weird, no one here. Oh shit! Ow! Oh, it's you. It's an even older guy. Oh, it's you. Thought it was a customer. What do you mean by that, old man? Do you have any bargain price decoders or processors? I'm busy back here, but the second-hand stuff is all over there. Check it out yourself. Okay, I got it. New character, Morax. Let's get to know him a little bit. Morax is a human. He's repair shop boss. Why is everyone aged zero? Like, is this a city with complete immortality? Like, is that the genetic disease we're talking about? That people stop reproducing and they live forever? It's not that bad. Morax runs a repair shop. Uh, although, if people are still gonna die out eventually unless they clone themselves. I mean, they, got, they are all going to die accidentally somehow. In the end, no matter how careful you are. Morax runs a repair shop on the street originally named the Repair Repay Shop. But if you ask him about the name, he might have said the violence trumper robot on you. Eventually, the name was changed to Repair Shop, but people immediately began to miss the title. Morax buys and sells all kinds of second-hand machines and electronic parts, and of course he sets the price himself. He seems to have a special channel to acquire repurposed military parts. Morax is undoubtedly a very good mechanic, and he is also interested in all sorts of eccentric questions about new technology and machines. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, this is the second health shelf. Whoa, hold on. These prices are insane. Have you lost your mind? Calm down, I only sell good stuff. And good stuff comes at a price. Even so, everything you see here is at least 30% cheaper than the market value. It's a bugger, really. And anyways, parts for that antique robot of yours aren't easy to come by. I didn't tell you about the robot. I don't suppose you can offer a cheaper price? If money is a problem, my offer for you to become a test subject for my research still stands. I'm sure I could donate some parts as payment. I can't believe you're still thinking about that. As I said before, forget it. It's not happening. Alright then. Look around by yourself and leave me alone. Whatever. Okay. I guess we can't buy things now. Leave me alone unless it's urgent. This robot. This thing is retired from the army. I heard it had quite a reputation while serving. Is it a riot trooper? Looks quite familiar. With so many problems, it will take a long time to fix and maintain this thing. So this is going to be important, somehow. This Violet Trumper was a mass-produced robot from 10 years ago. To resist attacks from the robots, a great number of Violet Trumpers were created and put into use over a short time. Most of these army robots were destroyed on the battlefield with just a few survivors. These remnants had been serving the army until they were too outdated to work. Okay. Let me do that again. To resist a... Wait a second. Something doesn't sit right. Wait. Is this new? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the... Oh, this is the poster. I never read this. Propaganda denies the social identity of robots and suggests expelling smart robots. People have starting... 
People have started to advertise the idea of zero robots and hope that by denying the individuality of a robot, they can drive them out of human civilization. Though it has been many years since the commotion happened, there are still people sticking to this view. This is kind of like Deuce X. Uh, here's what I didn't understand. To resist attacks from the robots, a great number of violence trumpers were created and put into use over a short time. So, in order to resist attacks from robots, people built more robots to fight the other robots. Does that seem like a good idea to you? Because I have a lot of questions about that. Uh, I'm guessing if that is all, then I'm guessing I'm done with this shop. I gotta go fight part somewhere else. Which, which means more exploring. Ah, oh, William! William, back so soon. And what have you got there? Uh, what a baby cat? Oh, just kidding. William brought over a piece of ripped cloth with blood on it. Whose blood is that? William, can't you just bring me something nice? Are you hurt? I don't see any wound. It's not my blood! The little guy seems so anxious. Something must have happened. There's nothing more I can do for BBX right now, so I should probably go see what has William so spooked. Yeah, fuck BBX. We're choosing cat over robot again. Hey, fishing old man. This is Luis. Shush! Keep quiet! You scared away the treasure! The treasure. Hey. Hi, sweetheart. Looking for some action? Guess not. Nothing of interest up ahead. No need to go any further. Yeah, sure. Have I missed something here? Is that... What is that back there on the chair? Is That, that looks like a broken arm or something. But that, that couldn't be. How about we call a taxi? No, we don't have money for a taxi. Danger. Oh, this city looks so freaking amazing. I know it's just this one little... Uh, there are even bottles in the river. That's cool. Hey, robot. And now I can go, come to this side of the city. Robots participation in the election does bring unexpected popularity, but this advertising video still features human beings but Do I get to watch a video? Starlight City mayor election campaign among all the candidates in this election apart from the popular Alex Shoko Sholo Cove The robot candidates Amos Augustos Amos is this a reference to a uh, uh, Isamov attracts the most attention, ensuring that the authorities are keeping a close eye on all robots' participation. According to the survey, robots' participation has far exceeded all expectations. The media are reporting on it, and the online forums are ablaze with opinion, showing just how widespread participation has become. Well, that's yeah, a robot would spice up elections very much. Election propaganda is being displayed repeatedly on the screen, introducing the candidates from different angles. Despite being the only robot candidate, Augusto rarely appears. Tattoos are used for helping with body identification, so we don't want it. Beer! Beer is so good! You, you are, you are a bear. My treat. Yeah, sure. If it's your treat, why not? Robots instant food is hard to swallow. So you've tried. Of course you have. All sorts of fast food. The Kung Bao chicken looks good. Really? You can buy Kung Bao chicken in, in, in a vending machine now? I fucking love the future. Hey, black cat coffee up there. Maybe we should buy some for William. Am I being just subtly racist with that comment? Cause like, 
It's a black cat coffee, so I want to buy it for a black cat. Am I assuming too much? It's been a while since I met my buddies for card games. Maybe next time. See, this is why you lose all your friends. Ah, uh, we're gonna go for... This Raymond restaurant has kept the same great taste for the past 10 years. I'll stop by next time. Oh, what is the sound? I'm gonna bypass William this time. Just to explore a little bit further ahead. The steakhouse is closed. Oh no, not the steakhouse. Yeah, this is as far as it goes. It looks like William wants me to go into the alley with him. Mm, let's go. William, you better have some good shit for me. Oh, crap! Am I intruding on a date? Flower alley? This does not look remotely like something you would call a flower alley. Somebody should change the name. This is a dumpster. The back entrance to the steakhouse smells bad from here. Oh no, is this why the steakhouse is closed? Is the owner dead? Murdered in his own bed. And that is why we need a detective! William, is this your girlfriend? Look at the fur, seems like a rare breed. Good choice, William. Aww, and she has a name, Elizabeth. Did you understand what I said? Wait, is that blood on you? Let me check your injury. Weird, I can't see any wound. Again, the cats are fine, somebody else should. For hygiene and health issues, please do not feed the street cats. Too late! A temporary shed for street cats. Uh, there's some Chinese words on the wall. Basically, it's just be a good citizen. This little cat has been staring at the pile of rubbish with a very sad look. What about this thing? Again, I am bypassing where I should be, what I should be doing, and just exploring. A fat gray cat is sleeping soundly on the dumpster. Good neighbor grocery store. Why is the good neighbor grocery store closed this early? Something must have happened. The truck is blocking the way, so convenient. Dragonfish. I I think it should be aquatic product, but they, they misspelled. Or maybe it's intentional, it, maybe it's a stylish choice. What do I know? Oh shit! It's Mrs. Perry! Who could have done such a thing? It seems like she had been dead for quite some time. Maybe she's not dead. Hey, Mrs. Perry, wake up! I need to call the police immediately. Hello! I'm calling from the Sephora Apartments. There is a body laying on Mount Trash in the alley. Please send someone quickly. Okay, yes, thank you. There must still be some evidence here. There's not many people come by this way. I'd better look around before the police arrive. Oh, Detective Mo, fuck yeah. You have entered the crime scene. Carefully investigate every detail as it could be a key clue to solving the case. Switch the investigation view to find more traces at the scene. When you find all the traces, they will combine to important clues to help you finish the final reasoning. Okay. A small amount of o that was too fast. Oxidized the blood on the clothes. Oxidized. It, it just means it's been a long time, right? That's well. Obviously, this it can't. You can't really do anything with the face, arm. Scratches. That is too fast. What the fuck? Scratches on the dislocation of the wrist. Can I read this further? Okay. Dislocation of the wrist with signs of fracture, probably caused by falling down or a strong collision after death. So she fell. Scratches on the left elbow formed by rigor mortis. So, yeah, dead for some time now.
So I, I guess I'm not technically at the investigation mode view, right? Because I have to switch to it. All right, let's switch to it. See, oh shit. Is this one of our augmentations? Jesus, as this is this this is better with a mouse. Labor mortis on the arm disappears when pressure is applied. All right, let's keep looking. I'm gonna play the rest of the game with gamepad, but detective mode with a mouse. Labor mortis on the face disappears when pressure is applied. Same with the arm. Hang on. I don't really know what it means to be honest. Strangely shaped wound. Is it? Is this the uh, murder weapon? Maybe that's how it's shaped. S skin on the neck exhibits a nickel allergy. Is that what it is? Left hand middle finger displays a ring mark. So the ring is gone. I mean, she can't own a ring that. Yeah, maybe it's for the ring. Again, liver mortis. Let's combine them, see what happens. Liver mortis, it, liver mortis indicates the time of death is probably more than 24 hours. Holy shit. And what about this one? Traces of jewelry worn on the neck and the left finger. Signs of rigor mortis are different from other areas, so the theft probably happened four to five hours after death. So she wasn't murdered for the jewelry, but somebody else came later and just robbed the corpse. Uh, where else do we have to go? Why is this kind of like pulsating? Do you have something else to tell me? Based on th this little thing here, I'm guessing I have still one more clue to find. blood on the clothes yeah that's not exactly strange wait what scratches on the heel formed by rigor mortis yeah let's see there are scratches on the elbow and heel and they seem to have formed some after death the corpse was moved at the time of the theft oh shit Somebody put her on this piece of cloth on the tractor and the dumped her in the dumpster. That's harsh. But I'm guessing that's all that's all there is. Right? I was hoping for a better confirmation than just this little thing here, but Yeah, I'm guessing this is it. No? Well, according to game logic, I still have unfinished business with her. Ah, oh, she's wearing the clothes with kitties on it. Like, she's a cat woman. I mean, she's a cat person. That's sad. I mean, not that it's not sad if people who don't like cats die, it's just sad for the cats to have to discover her this way. Gash. 
gash possibly formed when hit by something blunt. There's a strange wound caused by impact with something blunt most likely the cause of death. So there we go. This is the real end of it. First stage autopsy analysis, it is estimated that a death occurred more than 20 hours ago. The corpse suffered a fierce collision 4 hours after death and was dragged here. The theft of the jewelry also happened at this time. What is this? Clues and a deduction. Every clue you find in the case is just like a gear and a watch. Once you have found every clue and correctly combined them, you will discover the truth. When you have collected enough clues, attempt a deduction here. Only when all clues are placed in the correct spots can you make deduction. Seriously? Oh, this is this is the mechanic for for a simulating a thought process, a uh, physical clock puzzle really it is fine if that's how you want to do it i'll play jeez ah this is not how i thought it was gonna be <laughs> start the clock no i can't start the clock with this match failed of course i only have one gear i need to find more I need to see the place where she fell down. From where from which she fell down. Since she was dragged here in the first place uh, sometime after her death, it wouldn't be exactly in this building. I'll follow William to see what We already know what happened with him. We're trying to find clues. Some traces go all the way from the body to the spot under the dumpster. I need to move it to find out more. Alright, sorry kitty. You're gonna have to move a little bit. Ah, uh, maybe I should drag it away. Maybe a little bit more. Alright. Clear traces of dragging on the ground. Maybe that was the fucking dumpster you just dragged. Surrounded by foot marks. Uh, judging from the boot foot marks, the person was thin in nature. I don't know, maybe it's just small feet. You never know. Okay, traces of dragging. Traces on the ground go in this direction. I should follow it. And the dragon starts from here with more traces nearby, and it seems to belong to the same person. Matching footprints are located all around the area. It looks like this looks like this person hesitated for a long time here. He was probably looking for the dumpster. Traces lead all the way to this dumpster. Hey there, little fatty. Time to wake up. Nah. <laughs> Is he talking to me? It's Falkenberg. It's, he looks like the fucking boss here. You don't want to mess with Falkenberg. He's sleeping soundly. Maybe I can find something to distract him. Maybe just fucking move the dumpster. That would distract him. Find something. Hey, William. You wanna go talk to your friend there? Cat food! Smells weird. Alright. Fun bird or something. Here's for you. Ha! It is still too easy. There is a new dent on the dumpster street lid. Probably the result of a heavy object falling from above.
So this is where she fell. Like likely the result of a heavy object falling from above. Could this dent have been made by Mrs. Perry? The investigation is almost complete. Let's see if we can combine all the evidence. So this is where it's what it's about. I don't know about this mechanic. You know, I have my doubts on it. But let's try it out. I will say this though. It at least has a process to piece all the puzzles together. You know, most well, most games that I played featuring some kind of detective methodology. Not that there, I've played a lot, but most of them don't even have this. Like, most most likely, there's there's just have some kind of cutscene. So, some even even like this, it, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't make all that much sense. It's better than nothing. Okay. Uh, it's not working. Fuck it, reset. Uh, I will put the big one here. This does not feel like it. I'm doing any detective things. No, I think I'm wrong again. Oh, the big guy is the key. Everything else has to move around with him. And there are only so many places where he can possibly be. This is he cannot be here. Okay, I've determined that he's either here or uh, up in the middle, middle, but nowhere else is even possible. No, I don't think even here is possible, so this is your spot. Hmm, is that really right? This should already started, right? I mean, I don't even, I shouldn't even need this, but. Assembly failed one, gear did not move. You motherfucker. Hey, how about this? What did it say? Some gears are not working for the transmission. So, uh, you can't ha really have any spares, that's what he's talking about.
No. This is not gonna work. Hey, this might. Oh yeah. We are fucking brainstorming. At about 9 p.m. yesterday, Mrs. Perry fell straight onto the dumpster from above and they left his dent in the lid. And not long after, a thief appeared and has skulked around the corpse for quite some time. He or she hesitated but decided to steal from the body. After that, the corpse was dragged from here to the trash pile and covered with garbage bags. However, the traces and the marks were not cleared up. So this is an amateur. Judging from the time of death and the time of the theft, as well as the thief's behavior at the crime scene, the thief is unlikely to be the murderer. That person was possibly attracted by the sound of the fall. But he could still be a key witness. The thief committed an impulsive robbery when he or she saw the valuables on the deceased. The deceased fell down from her own apartment. If I carry out an investigation of the Sulfur apartments, I may find out how Mrs. Perry was killed. Good thinking there. And of course. They're finally here. Like, already after my com my uh, investigation, so. Right, huh? I didn't think the inspector himself would show up to a crime scene investigation. Ha! And I would have guessed it was you who reported the crime. It's been a while. But as you're already here, have you figured out who committed the murder? Why do I have a reputation? Inspector, I've completed the crime scene setup and control. We're awaiting your instructions. Carl, come over here. I'd like you to meet the famous Rex. He was once a member of the force too. I've heard the name before. You were some kind of hero. You're <laughs> the basketball champion. I know you have some glorious achievements, but those are in the past already. Carl! It's okay, right? Pay no attention. Rex, let's talk about what you found. Here's what I believe happened. Blah, 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 blah. So I think that we should do next is investigate the Sephora apartments where Mrs. Perry lived. Sorry if this offends you, but I think your reasoning is based on unreliable assumptions. I believe the right thing to do is follow the actual clues, like the stolen jewelry. I'm not interested in your big time detective nonsense. Oh, Carl, this guy is gonna be trouble. Now if, you're now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to the crime scene. Carl! This temple is giving me a headache. Rex, will you come with me? Hey, I got a new file for Royd. Let's see what Royd is about. He's a human. He's a police officer. And Rex is chief. Back when he was on the force, he's a good man, but has trouble getting promotions due to his distaste for kissing the butt of his superiors. Alright. Hey, he's following me! <laughs> and he's having a hard time catching up. I can't leave now. Roy expects my help. Does he, though? Old-fashioned police motorcycle, which I used to drive when I was part of the force. Wow. Um, actually, it looks pretty cool. Working? Hey, working. Don't touch anything at the crime scene. No, sir. Um, and who are we? The female police officer is collecting information from the citizens living close by. Oh, well, I doubt citizens playing close by. Oh, it's that little girl. Hey, Elizabeth, why are you here? What's that on your body? Have you been bullied by street cats? Poor Elizabeth. This child knows the white cat. Maybe she can tell us something. Mm. Let's interrogate her. Hey, little friend. What's your name? Hello, sir. My name is Alice. Do you know this cat? Of course I know her. She's the prettiest of all the cats, and Mrs. Perry adores her. Yeah, you should know something about Mrs. Perry. Do you know which apartment Mrs. Perry lives in? I need to visit her. 
Yes, I do. She lives in 303 and I live right upstairs. Although I kind of can see her down there in the gutter over there. Mm, maybe you should just tell her the truth. Hi, sir. How can I help you? Aww. What a nice kid. I bet she's the killer. In fact, let's arrest her right away. Mm, what's that robot doing? We finished our investigation here. Leave the rest to Carl. Let's check out the victim's home. Are you ready to go upstairs? Yes, please. So, four apartment. Alright. Let's check it out. Is this, uh, is this supposed to be a security system? Probably didn't work. Power meter from room 303 is still running, and there are two letters MP. P. Would, uh, I guess that would be Madam Perry or Mrs. Perry. It looks like the people who run this place have a big problem with the robots. Mrs. Perry must be one of his supporters because the poster is in pristine condition. Let's check it out. Maybe it was a political assassination. The Shoko, the Sholokov family have been manipulating the national economy in secret for many years before becoming active in public during the Sky City plans. As the support of the plan, the, Sh the Sholokov, I have to relearn this, this name every time I see it. The Sholokov family provided a large amount of financial and material support to the government, which made the once impossible Sky City plan become a reality in a surprisingly short time. As the spokesperson of the family, Alex Sholokov has been spending his days in upper class society, investing in rising enterprises and supporting several entrepreneurs. He has established an incomparable reputation in the city. More than 70% of the population are convinced that he should win in the election, so he has a good chance to become the next mayor. So he's the one that's running against the robot. Election campaign commercials are everywhere. It seems like the participation of robots has really attracted a lot of attention. Yeah, we're not actually in Mrs. Perry's apartment yet. This is just a public area. I'm not interested in the storage room. Really? You're a detective. You should be interested in that kind of thing. End of the line. Wait. Let's take let's take the lift. You need to lose some weight, Inspector Royd. Uh, I guess we should use the lift, which is right here. Mrs. Perry lives on the third floor. Can you hit the button? Okay, if she lives on the third floor, I guess we were just in the first floor since they don't have ground floor so I, w I wanna see the second floor ah I, but I can't it is forbidden all right third floor as you wish mm. the second of November is the day of the vote and you are all welcome to be a part of history Which room is she in? Excuse me, what happened? We need to ask you some questions. Uh, where were you yesterday? Did you have? Did you hear anything unusual between 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. yesterday? This is what I hate about it, this 12-hour day. This whole. Hour. 12 hour uh, clock thing the, the ridiculous thing is 12 p.m. is like fucking followed by 1 p.m. so like 12 when they say 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. you would think that there's a one hour of difference but no there's actually 11 hours fucking hell or maybe even or maybe 12 no 11 we went out shopping after lunchtime and didn't come back until 10 p.m. We're not sure about what happened. 
I did see a robot in front of apartment 303 when I left home yesterday. I had no idea what it was up to. We need to ask you some questions. Your relationship is with the victim. How was your relationship with Mrs. Perry? Did she have any friends or foes? Well, except for a little unpleasant, ex except for a little unpleasant experience with a steakhouse at the front of the alley regarding street cats, Mrs. Perry got along well with most people. Oh, uh, steakhouse with the street cats. Don't tell me though that the steakhouse is actually using those street cats. She loved the entertaining children at the place and the children loved her. Alright, she also hated the robots. Thanks, we have the information we need. Sorry for taking up your time. That's awfully cooperative for a resident that doesn't even open his door. Maybe we should get suspicious a little bit. I mean, we don't see the guy, but he's providing clues and we're just taking it. Okay, 302, another neighbor. Hey, this guy opened his door. Um, officer, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? I don't know, did you? Relax, we just need to ask some questions. What did you do yesterday? Did you hear anything at home? I slept all day yesterday. I heard cats when I woke up in the afternoon, and I heard children too. I thought Mrs. Perry's was having a party with children present, so I didn't pay attention. Relax, we just need to ask some questions. Oh, okay, here we go again. Did you offer? Did you often chat with Mrs. Perry? What else do you know about her? Uh, Mrs. Perry was a loner and she didn't talk to other people much. She took care of the street cats though, giving them food. The steakhouse tried to talk to her, but Mrs. Perry didn't want to talk. Okay, so this steakhouse has become a recurring theme, so we have to go investigate. Thanks, we have the information we need. Sorry for taking up your time. And more... Ro more anti-robot propaganda. Huh. No robots allowed. You will suffer consequence for violating this rule. Like what? I'd like to see you try. Mm, this must be Mrs. Paris' place. I'll call a professional to unlock the door. Don't bother. I can do it. Of course I can. This type of lock design can withstand electronic devices and a forced entry. The only way to unlock it is to guide the signal to the target by moving the discs. In other words, a puzzle. Alright. Um, well you have to be connected it at any rate, right? Gotta take some time. Oh, so it can be out of the question, out of the formula, out of for, for good. One of these will work. Mm -hmm. 
No, that was a mistake. Oh my god, finally. Easy peasy. This half mechanical and half electronic lock can go to the museum now. Actually, I don't even know if the museums will have anything, will have any use for them. This is the kind of thing with video game puzzles. Any kind of puzzle that you can just get out there and solve it is completely worthless. Ah, uh, Resident Evil, I'm looking at you. Hey, this is Mrs. Perry's apartment. Oh shit! Stay where you are and put your hands up! I've got you covered, Rex! Move up and check it out! Just like the old days. So, what, what do I do? I, I arrest this man? I, th I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna... I'd rather go explore. So you uh, just hold your gun. Point it, keep pointing it to him. This is Paris' diary. There might be some clues inside. And the key should be somewhere in the house. The key! The diary requires a key! Outrageous! But... Okay. The window still is clean, but there are some cat paw marks with traces of blood. The cats did it. How did you get here? Don't run around and destroy the scene. Ow. And Elizabeth, the same goes to you, okay? Is this a portrait of Elizabeth? Is that black cat on the other side, Willem? Are they meant to be together? Are they? Is this a cat cult? Because it is that Garfield in the middle? Is he supposed to be the king? Are the other cats worshipping him? Alright, buddy. Here I come. Oh. I'm just going to, uh... Learn it. Back to mouse mode. He's wearing the clean and tidy servant uniform emblazoned with a family crest. So this is a servant robot. Well, Mr. Robot, you are in deep shit. Because you are under suspicion of doing the thing that every robot does in the movies. Soft artificial fingers. Artificial fingers? Why would, it, why would you need that? Brand new, this says brand new shoes, shoe soles with clear patterns. Is that unusual? Some hair belonging to the deceased is visible on the hands. Oh, this is very bad for you, Mr. ST2. As your lawyer, I suggest you uh, just uh, withhold the silence. It's a highly intelligent model. That's bad. We don't want intelligent model. We want this. To... We complete insane. If you just, if you aren't so smart. Let's go into detective mode. See what we can find. Um, the soles of the shoes were stained with Mrs. Perry's blood, and it was tracked all the way to the sofa. So, I guess this here too. Dried blood stains. I don't think it's him. And I'm just... I'm drawing to that conclusion purely based on my experience with this kind of story. The, stat the statue's code indicates that it has sh it has shut down. Oh, it's gonna shut back up. I mean, come back up. There's no such there's no such thing as a shut up, shut back up unless we're talking about somebody shut up again. Uh, come on, this is confusing. This kind of robot can be. Can be opened from the head. What are we waiting for then? Let me 
found all this. Nothing wrong with the dick. No, I want to continue. What the hell? I think I've really tracked every single inch of this robot. Oh, I can combine these clues. I forgot. The hair and the blood. The hair and the blood are confirmed to be Mrs. Perry, so he's highly likely to be involved. Yeah, but in what capacity? Judging from his clothes, this robot is an indoor servant worker who paid attention to manners and details. The, the crest indicates that he was working for a specific family. And here we go. Blood and hair has been detected on the robot, so it was involved in some way. However, it broke down here for no obvious reason.